I'm not gonna lie, that movie out of pocket. I mean, Lil Wayne is the unofficial mascot of the show. Like, we talk about this nigga all the time. Man, that shit chalk. It was a real solid movie. Like, I really can't complain. My name is Derek K. Darko, and the Spark Man of the Third. And this is the Mark and Dark Show, your plug for me be, for movie and television <laughs> news, reviews, <laughs> and opinions. I am your host, Mark Randall III. And I'm the co-host, Derek K. Darko. What's good, man? How's it going? Yo. You're struggling right now with this d- microphone, John. <laughs> I am. good? Did you peep that I, I put on a little smooth voice? I was like, yeah, this is your boy, Derek K. Darko. Yeah, is that because it's 9 p.m. on a Wednesday? Yeah, it's hump day, you know. Yeah. Hump day? It just, it just out here, just... Giving the people what they want. Talking, talking movies and television, as we always do. Um, good. Yeah, man. So today is tough, man. I, I think it's been hot. It's been real fucking hot. The weather's been really weird. It's this been, past fall. Well, it's actually we're still in the summertime. Actually, we're actually like we we're not officially in fall yet. No, no, no. It was fall. It was fall yesterday. Yeah. It was fall like yesterday. <laughs> nah, that's what the scientists said. That's what the motherfuckers in the white in the white coat said. It was fall yesterday. So. It was not Bill Nye. I don't believe him. Yo, Bill Nye is a white dude in a white coat. He's he's one of them. Man, not nah, not Bill Nye, dog. <laughs> Bill Nye, Bill Nye, a superhero, man. Yeah, so uh, it was hot. I'm not into it. But anyway, let's uh, let's just dive right on in. And you saw I saw Baywatch. Baywatch. Yeah. How was that? Um, let's just say I tried watching it. You couldn't finish it? I didn't finish it. All right. I would say, like, like some incidents. Yeah. Just throw it on. It's pretty. It's, it's, it is what it is. Did you laugh? I laughed at some parts. Like, it wasn't hard Out of 100, laughs. how much would you say was comedy? For example, for example, out of 100, Friday mm-hmm. was like 90% comedy to okay. me. Like, I laughed throughout the whole movie. All right. The only time I wasn't laughing is when shit wasn't funny. All right, then I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you like forty five, forty eight, forty eight. It's not. It wasn't even fifty. Mm. I'm gonna keep it a bean. It wasn't even fifty. I think. Yeah. What really enhanced it was the incense. Okay. It wasn't the rock. Like the rock didn't enhance it. I mean, the rock was pretty cool in yeah. that joint. Like you know, like I, I'm a fan of the rock. Right, 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 right. I think he don't do no wrong. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think he gonna do no wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but I can't. Ah, the rock is. Hmm. I mean, I feel like I think he needs to chill out. I, I just feel like it, he it, needs to, he needs to either chill out or he needs to get all the way hot because he needs like yo the Chumanji two has to be a hit. It's not. I mean, it's just the names that's gonna make it hot. <laughs> I mean, it has to it has to do numbers. It's gonna do numbers because of the names. Nah, like nah, like real numbers, uh, not like like Marvel numbers. Like we like like we know how whenever a Marvel movie come out, we like it's gonna do numbers. Yeah. But then it, when it does numbers, numbers, we like, oh shit, this movie made a billion dollars. Mm-hmm. Like it needs to get up there. It needs to get like seven hundred million. I don't think it's gonna get up there. I think people are gonna see it and be like, eh, lukewarm. I hope it gets up there. I really do. Because if not, he needs like that rampage shit to be a hit. Mm-hmm. Because I think. How many times can you just float off a of Fast and Furious? I know he's getting a Hobbs spinoff that Therese was in his feelings about. Yeah. But still, like, how many times can you realistically? I mean, he still has a show, Ballers, which is pretty good. I know. We always, we always, like, yo, actually, I think The Rock is starting to become the unofficial sponsor of the show. Like, we do talk about this nigga all the time. Yeah. Because remember how we used to talk, who we used to talk about? Uh, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, yeah. Lil Wayne. We used to talk about mid- Lil Wayne in the Midnight Marauders. Every show. Yeah. Dog, I miss the Marauders, man. <laughs> we gotta, yo, we gotta bring it back. What just uh just the door on a Thursday throwback Thursday just Midnight bring Marauders? back and we won't call it maybe we'll just call it the Marauders. I like Midnight Marauders. I like Midnight Marauders. Too. Yeah, yeah. Yo, shout out to the Midnight Marauders for me and Mark are developing a web series. Yo, yeah, yeah. They are coming back then. They coming back, dog. Yeah. I think you know what. I think it should be me and you in the show. I was just about to tell you that. I, I was about to be like, be, yo, you got to, you, you going to have to bite the bullet, dog. You. Yeah, usually I like being behind the camera, behind the scenes. <laughs> you got to bite the bullet, dog. I, I think it's going to have to be me and you. You going to have to bite the bullet. Fictional characters of us. Dog. I think, I think we're on to something. Yeah, we are. I think we're on to something. All right. So speaking of, um, <clears throat> oh, yeah, tell me about your joint, dog. I didn't I heard about yeah, this joint. I didn't watch any uh movies, but I did watch Neo Yokio. 
and it is the anime from Ashra Knowing, who is the lead singer to Vampire Weekend. I have no idea who none of these bands are. I'm pretty sure it's Vampire Weekend. Vampire Weekend's popping, though. I'm about to say, if it's not the bands that I'm really accustomed to, then I would have no idea. Uh, and it is it has voices from uh, Jesus and Mero. Yeah, I heard they're pretty funny in that joint. Yo. <laughs> I heard they I heard they kind of make the show a little a little bit. Yo, they actually do. Yo, Mero is actually more in it than like Jesus is really. Yo, Mero is so fucking funny in that show talk. <laughs> Yo, when fucking dude came back into the party all like his clothes was all fucked up, my dude Mero was like, "Yo, dog, I told you about messing with them girls from out of town." <laughs> Yeah, dog. Nah, I definitely want to see that joke. Yo, it's good. And actually, yo, Jaden Smith, in the previews, I didn't like it. But when you watch it all throughout the show, like, Jaden Smith's voice works perfectly. Yo, shout out to Jaden Smith, yo. He's been really he's been really doing his thing out here. Yo, shout out to Jaden Smith. Yo, also shout out to Shalita Shishi. Um, she, I think she designed them, yo. Yeah, uh, like, uh, uh, dreads or post-dreads? This was after dreads. Like, cut. Haircuts. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I dig the cut. Like, I look forward to growing my dreads really long and having them for several years, and then cutting them off, and people being like, "You gonna have us for several years?" I'm probably gonna have these for about a good five, six years. Okay, I'm doing this tops a year, and then dog, you know, I put so much money into this. Oh yeah, because you do, you do go out and do get your dreads. Though. Yeah, dog, that shit costs money. Plus, my hair is all soft. Yeah, I feel you from all that massa action. So yeah, I mean, my hair is like a it's like a weird type of texture. Like it. It curl, it can kind of curl by itself. So that's why, like, if I cut my hair, I can easily get waves back. I would just have to go like light, like a Caesar, like the one cut, yeah, yeah the Rick yeah. Ross joint, and then like let it grow for a little bit, then get it cut again, and then all the waves would come back. So yeah, that's like you know, good hair. You know, shout out to my man Chris Rock for the good hair uh, type situations. I remember um, when that when that movie came out, there was like a, an an article. I remember reading it, and it was like, "Who was good hair made for?" It wasn't made for black women because black women already know, and it wasn't made for like white women because white women really don't care. Yeah, you know, I don't know who it was made for, but I just Maybe remember. Black men? I just remember watching the movie in high school and being very intrigued. I was like, "Hmm," I'm like, and then they had some of the celebrities on there. They had that so Ra- they had Raven Simone like fixing her weave. I was like, oh shit! I'm about like, yo, yo. I, I wasn't up on how many black women I'm um, wear like the it was game. so many. It was so many of them on there. So many. Nia Long was on there looking bad. Uh, Raven was on there. I think. Um, uh, 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 I think kind of in her prom, out of her prom, Vivica A. Fox was in that joint. Yo, Vivica, when she was in her prime, prime was a dime. Yo, Vivica was all that, dog. Yeah. Vivica, you know who Vivica was back in the 90s? She was Taraji P. Henson the, um, back then. Too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Mm. I, I think ta- Taraji got more integrity, though. Yo, she does. And Taraji, I think Taraji's like... Smarter. Yeah. Elevated higher. Yeah, she's like up there. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. really, really up there. Um, oh, Amber Rose. She's the Amber Rose. Amber Rose? Yeah, sure. Amber Rose got some, got some clout. She got the, the hoe walking shit. Stop. All right, stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> stop it. I'm sorry, dog. I'm sorry. All right, let's just get into the pop culture pregame. Yes, sir. Pop culture pregame. Pre-game. I want to make pregame like, pregame music there one time. Just Can't like you a, add that? Da, 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 da. Yeah, but I want like a soundboard. I want to be able to be like that was a dummy. A one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like maybe when we get the real studio, when we um, get up out of the till room, and we get to the till room deluxe. The Till Room Deluxe. Oh, we got to paint it the same color, dog. It's going. We got to so, paint it the same exact. Color. All right, so our studio time always has to be teal. Then, yeah, it just has to be just not be. Yo, we have hella episodes, dog. <laughs> yo, you know what I just pee. I'm like, damn, yo, because if we count the Marauders, yeah, and count Mark and Dog Show, we have a lot of episodes. We sure do. So we have to have an 100 episode celebration, and se- te- since technically, yeah, Mark and Dark counts, but it doesn't because it was a reboot. Yeah, but it's still the same show. It's a very different show. It's definitely a very different it's show. Hella different. We used to, yo, you was just saying that, like, yo, we played the whole Views album. <laughs> we had a show and played the whole Views album, dog. It wasn't the, I wouldn't say it was the whole album, but it was definitely some good amounts. It was a good chunk of the album, though. Dog, we used to do whole shows watching movies. 
Real shit, yo. And watching the scenes, like, yo, put on that, yo, put on that Batman scene, dog. <laughs> yeah, that shit. Yo, that Batman scene is fire, dog. That shit was fire. <laughs> yo, all right, speaking of, all right, just real quick before we slide into this Avatar news. All right. Yo, I saw the Matrix yeah. scene, the, uh, the first Matrix, yeah. the hallway scene when he was fighting the, uh, the SWAT team. I saw that. On, it was posted on Instagram. I, yo, I stopped whatever I was doing at work and just watched that, John. Which one? The Matrix one when he was, when he went through the metal detector and he showed all the guns and oh yeah, the cop. yeah and he was on all the John. It's such a good scene though, right? That shit was so fire. Yo, he did a lot of his own stunts too. That's so fire. Yeah, dude was dude was turning up. Shout out to Keanu Reeves. Shout out to Keanu Reeves, the goat, the real goat, the real goat, the real goat. All right, uh, Avatar, uh, Avatar sequel finally begins shooting with a one billion dollar price tag. Real quick, real quick, because yes, there's sir. two Avatar stories in here. Okay. Can we just do the second Avatar story real quick and then just figure it out? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. All right, cool. Uh, so also in keeping up with the Avatar, I wonder if, I wonder if that's going to become a, a segment of our show. Are we going to be having that many Avatar stories where we can actually have a segment keeping up with the Avatar? Oh, I mean, I feel like because they, they said they were driving Avatar, uh, Avatar 2, Avatar 3, Avatar 4, and did they say Avatar 5? I, th- I think we I think we t- we talked about this one time, and I think we I think we we confirmed that it was five of them. That it was going to be four more movies. And how I feel about that, I don't think I need it, yo. In my like, in my really really personal opinion, I don't need it. I don't need it to be four movies, dog. I need it to be just, they should have just left it where it was. Yo, they should have either made a sequel within like five years or mm-hmm. left it the hell alone. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. But yo, um, or something. or what they could have did though, uh-huh. a prequel just showing the blue people. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Give me, give me That's people, it. Dumb, dumb, dumb Indian African motherfuckers. That's it. Prequel. Uh, Avatar 2 will bring in Jake and Nate, Natri? Night. Nitri? What was that girl's name? What was fucking Zoe Zaldana's name in that movie? I have no idea. They're, Jake and her have um, little blue kids, so they was so they was spanging in his avatar body. So they're putting the they's putting the tails the the ponytails together. I think I don't know. I guess so. Yo, can I tell you that I laughed hard as shit at that scene. That shit was so sensual. They was like, oh, like I was cracking the fuck up, dog. No, when you just turn around, and just. Yo, actually, if you connect the ponytails and you was really schmanging, that shit would probably put you in overdrive, dog. That's some heart attack worthy shit. Dog. <laughs> Yo, be like, what's his face in a dick coma, dog? He <laughs> <laughs> should put that nigga in a dick coma. <laughs> Damn, what's his name again, dog? I, I'm trying to think of his name, yo. Oh, shit. Um, oh, my gosh. Yo, it's, it's bothering me. It's not Lawrence. It's, uh, does it, it's not Derek, is it? No, it's not Derek. No. Yo, whoever's Something listening with to a this D, though, right? Yo, whoever's listening to this, Joel, and listening to, <laughs> listening they to probably so screaming, dog. Yo, they are fiery. Yo, they are, y'all are sick right now, and this is my fault, and, like, I can't think of it either. I can't think of I it see neither. It. I see it. Yo, I all see I see it. is his face. I don't want to look it up. I'm just going to I'm just gonna keep rolling. Keep rolling? I'm going to look it up real all quick. Right, cool. Um, so, yeah, so they're going to have some kids, and uh, that's cool. You know, good for them. Good, you know, good on them, whatever. That's, that's It's all strange. I don't know. I don't think Avatar 2 needs to happen. It doesn't. Okay, let's see what we got next. Uh, Leonardo and Scorsese's new film. Apparently, someone at the table has a very, very high opinion of Leonardo DiCaprio. I put this note up, and I put I said Leonardo the Goat DiCaprio. I think right. Leonardo DiCaprio is the same as the equivalent of Tom Brady. I hate Tom Brady. <laughs> you hate Tom Brady? <laughs> I have fucking hate Tom Brady. Yo, he came back 28-3, dog. I don't give a fuck. I hate Tom Brady. Like, his other Super Bowls don't matter. He came back 28-3, dog. I hate Tom Brady so much. <laughs> 28-3, dog. I do. Uh, I respect his I respect his skill, though. Because I was like, yo, that's it's Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, at the end of the day, dog, it's Tom Brady. Like, what did y'all think was going to happen? Teflon, dog. I thought y'all was going to come up in here and just sling dick. He wasn't going to get no retaliation. <laughs> yo, shout out my man Taylor for calling him Teflon Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Teflon Tom. <laughs> yo, okay, um, so to get off track for a second, a little bit of sports news, um, a la the roundtable. Dog, Cleveland? Mm-hmm. What do you think of that? Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade. Derrick Rose. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm not impressed. I'm the, yo, this yo, this might be the Derrick Rose that does it though. Nah. This might because you know how like every hurt nigga get that one hot season and they gotta do it in that hot season. They won't get injured that whole season. Nah. I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a buyer. I'm selling that. Yo, Derek Rose is looking kind of rough a little bit, though. <laughs> he had the he had the Marcus Von Doom dreads. Yeah, we saw him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. So the Leonardo DiCaprio Scorsese new film is yeah. going to be about Teddy Roosevelt. Um, was Teddy the crossdresser or, or the cripple? Teddy was the crossdresser. Okay, cool. Um, Wait, is that culturally insensitive to say a cripple? I think so. I'm going to say. I'm sorry about that. I want to say disabled. Was he the disabled gentleman? He had polio. And polio was like, they, they couldn't cure that shit, like how they can do it now. Like, But he hid that shit. He did, but people didn't see him, dog. <laughs> like, people never saw him. Yo, that shit could never fly today. No. It's so many, like, you get that shit vaccined in here, yo. No, I just meant, like, being fucked up as the president and us not seeing him. Oh, yeah, it's too much. It's too much media. Yeah, it's too much. It like, we didn't see Trump media. for, like, what, like a month one time? Yeah. No, we didn't see him for, like, two weeks. Mm-hmm. Like, how'd you hide for two weeks? What'd you do? Where'd he go? People would be in a panic. <laughs> People would panic. Um, I think this is going to be good, though. I think it's definitely going to be an Oscar contender. And maybe Scorsese will get his Oscar. I don't think he's ever got an Oscar before. Nah. Actually, no. Didn't he get it for um, The Departed? Didn't he get it for Best Movie? I think he got it for Best Movie. The, oh, he did? Uh, Departed. But yeah. he didn't get Best Director. I don't think so. Yeah. He got Best Movie, though. Best Movie is like getting Best Artist of the Year. Yeah. But what you really want is Best Album. Okay. Yeah. So it's just like you will want the best director, and not the. I mean, yeah. yeah like I, I would you. if you was a di- if you was a director, like yo, best director, me yo, you put that movie on your back and you carried it mm-hmm. like fucking Jesus of Nazareth, just all up on your back, <laughs> everything, everyone, every scenario, whatever people liked about that movie it was because of you. Yeah, dog, that's a crazy honor. That is a crazy honor. Yeah, because like best movie means yo. The director was phenomenal. These actors, these niggas kicked ass. These producers did a damn good job. Mm-hmm. These cinematographers, this score, this nigga really put his whole ass foot yeah. into the soundtrack. You know what I mean? Like that was like as an ensemble, you guys did an amazing job. It's like mm-hmm. difference between like MVP and I guess not even like MVP and like NFC champion or something. I don't know. Yeah. Like it's not. You know what I mean? Like it's just not the yo. You just did such a better job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. You know what I mean? Like you just did no, it. No, I feel like, no, I, no. I hear what you're saying. I, I see what you're saying. It's like it's not MVP. It's not the finals MVP, but you still have the finals. Is it? Not even. That's I not guess even. it's like getting the finals MVP. Mm-hmm. But maybe if you like lost, you that's what they said about LeBron last you year. You still kind of won. That's what they said about like LeBron. It was yeah. like, damn, he got. He really is supposed to be the finals MVP, but because he lost, he can't be the finals MVP. But what if he was the finals MVP and you lost? Like, could you imagine that? Like, yo, you did that much. Yo, LeBron did do that much. I know, but they didn't give it to him. Yeah. But imagine if they did. That'd be crazy. Right. That's what getting directors like. But except for, like, they actually give it to motherfuckers instead of not give it to him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, enough sports stuff. Um, Thank you. But, um, yeah, I think this movie's going to be good because Leonardo DiCaprio's always playing in some biopics, you know, uh... The Reverend was technically kind of a biopic. Right. Um, the Wolf of Wall Street. Yep. J. Edgar Hoover. True. Uh, the J- Aviator. Was that a Was that a biopic? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Howard Hughes. Yeah. See, so like he always does good with like biopics and shit. Actually, him and Scorsese is always doing. They they make some yo hell of movies. I can't wait to be Scorsese. I I just want to be old and working. Like I don't want to mm-hmm. retire. I want to yeah. die on the film set. Yeah. I think that'd be a great way to go. Unless it's like a shitty film, like I die on like mm-hmm. the prequel to fucking Power Rangers or something. Uh, what was the last Scorsese um, bad film that he make that you remember? The last bad one. Mm-hmm. Um, Hugo didn't really move anyone. I thought it was good, but it wasn't. It didn't really like. It really wasn't like phenomenal, phenomenal. Yeah, like it, like it. It was critically acclaimed, but it wasn't like. A good it didn't do well. It was a cartoon joint, right? Uh no, Hugo was the one about the little about the kid who finds the puppet at the train station. And it's uh-huh. the puppet belongs to the dude at the train station who does magic and shit. His name is like uh Sounds like too much. It, it, it was it's a really good film. It's just 
I don't think it was what people wanted, and it was like released on Christmas, and it looks like a Christmas movie. Yeah, but it's not like really a Christmas movie. Funny <laughs> or like it's. Oh, that's a, it's supposed to be a serious drama. It's serious as a motherfucker though. It just mm. looks like it's not serious. Um, you know what I mean? Like it looks very Christmassy, but it's like really, really heavy. Got you. Okay, cool. It's about like niggas getting their dreams broken and trying <laughs> to like move forward. <laughs> <laughs> like legit, that's literally the plot of the film. Is this little boy reintroduces this man who was broken to his dream, and he just basically was like, "Nigga, you can do this." <laughs> And no one had ever told him he could do this and him believe it. Like, wow. He just was like, shit, nigga, I can do this. This little nigga told me I could do it. I think I can do it. That's crazy. That's the whole movie. Boom. Yeah, that's really crazy. Over two hours and 20 minutes. Damn. <laughs> long ass movie for what? I think it might be 210, but still, it's that's, definitely That's still long. long. Yeah. It's pretty long. All right. So the It sequel um, is getting a release date of September 2019. Yes, sir. I'm excited about that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be on the 27th of September. Probably. Yep. Um, I still haven't seen it yet. I will probably see it at some point. Yo, it is popping. I've seen a couple of uh, f- footage on, well, clips yeah. on Instagram. It, it is popping. That John looks pretty intense. Yeah, we should start doing some more movie reviews. That'd be fun. Yeah, real rap. Uh, what's the next John you trying to do? It. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Thor. Thor probably we'll, we'll probably Thor, record League. that one. Thor and Justice League will probably get recorded. Just to stay, just to stay true. Yeah, yeah. All right, what else we got going on here? We got a uh, oh, the Underworld TV series is underway. You know what? I'm actually here for that. Why? Who's getting it? Sci-fi? Tell me a sci-fi. I'm about to see right now who's getting this joint because they also need to let this go. Actually, they should have been. Isn't, they should, say. This should this should have been um, a TV series, though. This would have been a good TV series. Like after the third one, like it's so much of a story that you could have told that you should right, just made yeah it, made it that. Um, I definitely am here for. I think I think that I think that would do better as a series. It'll kind of have like um, the Buffy the Vampire effect, where you know. It gets better as the TV show than it did as the actual, like, movie. Yeah. Because Buffy the TV show is way better than Buffy the movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, yo, Buffy the Vampire show. Like, that John. Yo, look, yo, you know, actually, Sarah Michelle Gellar is, like, a part of a community of people who, um, what is that shit called? She knits. Oh, she knits? No, she bakes. Okay. She's, like, a, she's, like... In the baking community, she's like well known and well received. Oh, wow. she's like Donald Glover in the hip hop community. <laughs> you know what I mean? But she's in the baking community. The baking community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like her pies is pretty much on the bean, is what you're telling me. Yeah, like her pies sit next to a nigga who only makes pies, yeah. and they're gonna be like, "Yo, I hope I can beat her this time up." <laughs> Damn, because <laughs> she got me last year. Damn. So I mean, she get because you know she you know she's she's been in the game. She chilling. Yeah. Her um her husband been in the game. Freddie Prince. Freddie Prince just been in. He has not been in the game. Actually, he's been hella gone. Yeah, yeah. He, he, yo, he definitely been going dog. <laughs> At the Scooby Doo, he was like, "Yo, all right, I'm good." I thought I saw that nigga on the back of a milk carton. Dog, <laughs> he's been gone for a minute. Yeah, he's been gone. Yeah, he was just like, eh, I'm just going chill." Yo, all some right. people just be like that though. Like some people just like, "Yo, like, I like, I just want to do other shit." Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, up next, we have the first, first poster from uh, Pacific Rim. Oh, yeah. Uh, off top, scale of 1 to 10. How excited are you for this film? I'm not very excited. Damn, really? Nah. All right. All right, I was all, right, little- wait, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Off top, mm-hmm. scale of 1 to 10. How excited for you are you for this trailer? It's a trailer? Nah, if it was a trailer, how excited would you be for it? Lukewarm. Damn, really? I was lukewarm on the first one. You didn't like it? I I liked it, but I was I was just like, yeah, it's all right. That shit was dope. Like I just didn't give a fuck about robots fighting monsters and then people inside the robots. That shit was dope as a motherfucker. That shit was like an anime in real life. Yeah, I was lukewarm on that joint. It did like Gundam though. That shit and was, Gundam was my shit back yeah. in the day. That shit was like, if you think about it, it's hella stupid. I just wish that they had guns. Like just some of them had guns. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think none of them had guns. They had like nunchucks and shit. And- <laughs> 
I, yo, I'm telling you, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I would rate it seven out of ten, but at the same time, I'm really, really lukewarm on that joint, dog. I think one of them had like a hand cannon, like on some Mega Man shit. Yeah, I think the main one had a uh, hand cannon. Yeah, he had a hand cannon. So he had a gun. He's like Metroid. Yeah. Speaking of Mega Man, I hope that movie drops. All right, moving on. Nah, 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 dog, nah, dog. You can't <laughs> move on. You got to tell me your thoughts on the. Uh, the Pacific Rim too, man, and we gotta talk about the poster. And I am. About that. That's what I'm moving on to. We'll, <laughs> we'll move on, moving back to the poster. <laughs> so um, it's got my man John Boyega front and center, trying to make my nigga the head of the franchise. Mm-hmm. I hope this does well. I hope it does well too, uh, just for John Boyega. I me too. That's what I'm saying. Like I hope it. Like I'm gonna see it. Yeah, I'm gonna see it too. I'm just lukewarm on that, John. I'm lukewarm as a motherfucker. <laughs> so why you gonna get on me talking about I'm lukewarm? Then you say you lukewarm because I was gonna lie. <laughs> You funny as shit, dog. <laughs> I was gonna be like, yo, I'm hyped for that shit. I am hype, like on on like a level of trailer. It's probably up there next to the next Black Panther trailer. Like I'm, I would probably say I'm like a strong nine for that trailer. Are but you, for the movie, I have no faith that movie's gonna be any good. Yeah. I have none whatsoever. I think it's gonna be almost as bad as All Eyes on Me. Damn. Yeah. Did you still ain't see All Eyes on Me? Did you? Nah. <laughs> you, is, you don't want to see it. I'll see it eventually. <laughs> that VH1 ass show. <laughs> I'll probably see it on VH1. <laughs> that Joel was VH1. Talk. That's fucked up, man. Damn. God, you got to do Pac better than that, man. The Shame. fucking hologram was, was pretty dope. Remember the Pac hologram? Yo, I was like, yo, Pac alive, dog. Dog, that shit was fucking dope. That nigga had pecs and shit. Yo, I was like, Pac yo, hologram was brolic, nigga. Yo, he was. I was like, that yo. That nigga was like a T, like a T, like a T-1000, dog. I was sitting there, I was like, yo, Pac alive, dog. He's all the way alive. This trailer, this this, this poster's dope, though. I fuck with it. It looks I more like, like Halo than anything else, though. It does like Halo. This should have been, this might as well just have been Halo. It looks like, it looks like if John Boyega was Master Chief. Yeah, yeah. I would have seen. Look, cast him as Master Chief. Who, John Boyega? Mm-hmm. Nah, he's too little. John Boyega's a little nigga. He like, he like five five. He five five. Yeah, really? He, he, he maybe five six. He ain't tall. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, I get. You gotta get somebody big to be Master Chief. Master Chief supposed to be like six five. That nigga supposed to be. He oh, he supposed that bro- to be, oh, he that brother? Yeah, dog. He supposed to be like six. He supposed to be like Big Daddy when he walk in. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. What we got? Uh, Phil Lord and Chris Meller to direct the Martian sequel. Yes, sir. I never even seen the Martian. Oh, you never seen the Martian? Oh, let me let me tell you a little bit about the Martian. The Martian is a good movie, but it's the perfect movie to go to sleep to. Like excellent. Like if you like say you like you having like you just want to watch some shit real quick at yeah. eleven o'clock at night. Put that on. You'll be right to sleep at eleven ten. But. They're known for making comedies, like the Lego movie and mm-hmm. uh, Cloudy for Chance of Meatballs and 21 Jump Street. Like, how are they going to take that and make, I don't know, maybe maybe they can do the action, you know? It's, it's going to be called Artemis. And, you know, um, it's yeah. going to be called what? Artemis. That's the sequel's name. It's Artemis. Uh, so it's about another motherfucker lost on the planet? Is that's what I'm assuming. I hope they get well. Alien. It says, All right, so Artemis follows a woman named Jazz, a directionless 20 something constrained by her small town, the titular um, Artemis, the only city on the moon with the debts to pay and a salary that barely covers the rent. She, she can't say no when a, a life changing opportunity drops in her lap, but she then finds herself in the middle of a conspiracy for a control of Artemis itself. How is that anything like The Martian? Wasn't The Martian with Matt Damon? It was with Matt Damon. I have no idea. I don't understand why they said this was the sequel. This sounds like nothing like that. Maybe it's in the same universe or something where they Maybe. colonize, colonialize Mars. I mean, the moon. I don't know. This shit sound, I don't know. It sounds weird. Yeah, it kind of gave me a headache. Maybe it takes place in the same universe. And if that's the case, I'm down for this movie. That, that, shit, takes- sounds, that shit sounds wild and crazy. I mean... I want to see something like show me like a trailer or a picture or something. So uh, Terminator Six? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. It officially gets a release date. Oh my gosh! What's this shit coming out? July twenty sixth, twenty nineteen. Yo, I think twenty nineteen might be a popping year. Like say that. Who's uh, who's dropping twenty nineteen besides uh, Avengers, Avengers Infinity War two? Mm-hmm. 
Um, this shit. <laughs> this shit gonna be trash. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Okay. You know, you know, Captain Marvel gonna be lit. Yeah. Yo, that she's fighting be- the Skrulls, dog. So this is gonna secret show- invasion, dog. <laughs> Perfect way to reboot it. I bet you after that shit, we're gonna get a new Iron Man. You think so? It's gonna be Riri. I hope, they, you- I hope they change her name to just Veronica or some shit. So you think it's gonna be um, Riri as the Iron as the new Iron Man? Yeah, hundred percent. Oh shit! I'll be here for it. Like real right, I would be here for it. So you think we're gonna get a female Thor and then? Yep. <clears throat> Probably in about nine years. Okay. Eight or nine years. I and then so. Adonis Cho as the Hulk, and then Bruce Banner kind of like mentoring him. I don't know if we'll get all that. <laughs> nah, I don't know if we'll get all that. I'm pretty sure we'll get Thor back because I think Thor Ragnarok's going to do numbers. Okay, and they're going to be like, "Yo, that franchise wasn't bad. It was their weakest franchise. It was, but even their weakest franchise is better than like most niggas' strongest. Yeah, like it was shitting on Spider Man numbers, not Spider Man Homecoming, Spider Man the other Sony. One. Yeah, just." <laughs> Fall over that shit. Ooh, that was a good number two too. Like that was what? That was like the one like you sitting in traffic and you ready to come home and you just ready to just drop a uh, loads. <laughs> yeah, that's that that's that joint like after you have that whole Mexican buffet. Yeah. And you just like yo, this and you is sitting bad. in <laughs> You sitting in the crib and you just like, yo. You child you like you trying to like ignore it, but then you gotta get up and be like, all right. Yo, that's the one where you gotta bring the fan in the room. <laughs> That's the one where uh, <laughs> you the go fan to the- and the phone charger. <laughs> <laughs> That's the joint where uh, where uh, <laughs> Mr. Jones go knocking on the bathroom and Stanley <laughs> Stanley come out. <laughs> Don't go in there and it's like 30, 45 minutes. Get the fuck out of my face, Stanley. Oh, Stanley, <laughs> he's right in the bathroom and shit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh man, oh man, That's too much. <laughs> Yo, yeah. shout out to the Friday franchise, dog. <laughs> yeah, that's too much. Shout out to the Friday franchise. That's way, all right, let's all right, let's move on. Mm-hmm. I can't. That was way too much. Let's move on. All right, so um, okay, um, and last to finish it off before we get into um, the weekly digest, we got to change the name to that because all we do is watch trailers. I mean, why not keep it the weekly digest? All right, Atlanta <laughs> season two is <laughs> starting to shoot soon. <laughs> Whoop, whoop. I'm hype about that. Whoop, whoop. That's exciting. Um, that time flew by. Like I remember, like when I first heard the news that they were going to be sick. delayed, I was livid. I was, I was sick. Was, yeah, I was pretty. I was pretty upset. He was like, "Oh yeah. wait, wait, it has begun filming, so it's already filming. So okay. we'll probably have it in like 2018. 2018. 2018 spring. is gonna be nice. 2018 fall. spring, fall, fall, fall. I say spring, like that summer fall, spring." I think, oh, it I, think so. the, I think it dropped in the spring, man. Maybe. Because the last joint's uh, dropped in the spring. Yeah, yeah. That sounds about right, because it's hot. Spring. Okay. All right, so it is now time for this week's Digest, Ooh. where we watch movie trailers and react to them. Basically. 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 like Basically. Ain't, ain't no like self-explanatory to it. Like You just... All right, can we... <sighs> Which one do you want to do first? Let me just do Pitch Perfect first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I can I drop a little story before you yeah, play Pitch Perfect? While you do that, I'm just going to go ahead and set up. Yeah, go ahead. So I was texting my man's Mark today at work, and Mark was like, yo, I'm taking this Pitch Perfect John off. I don't want to play it. I didn't say I was taking it off. I took that shit yeah, well, right yeah, off. Yeah, he basically took that shit right off. And I'm like, yo, I'm like, bro, like, what you doing, dog? Like, we like we supposed to play every trailer and react to all the John, no matter how shitty he is. He's like, nah, dog, <laughs> can't do it, man. I, I just can't do it. Like, I just, I'm just tired of this shit, bro. Like, yo, I felt, yo, bro, like, when I tell you, I felt that. I felt that. I felt that heated exchange, dog. I felt that. Dog. I knew you, uh, you was not feeling that at all. So I was like, so 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 much of the time I convinced and I was like, yo, Mark, play that joint and just, you know, give the people your reaction. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, like we supposed to watch trailers and react to that joint. All right, so. all right. Let's do it. Let's just get it over with. Here we go. These whole, why are they so old, man? Look, we're we going to talk about that afterwards, man. It's How are right. they still singing? Up, Pitch Perfect 3. See you guys. I missed you. Hey, Bellas. So what do you want us to sing tonight? I brought this just in case. We didn't invite you guys to sing. We invited you to watch 
Uh, excuse me? I just thought you guys were so busy with your awesome jobs and amazing lives. I am, actually. Uh, yeah. like they got the yeah. same yeah. shit on. Oh, man. They're so bright and shiny. They look pretty. They look like they was all breastfed. <laughs> This sucks. Anything, anything <laughs> you guys again. Every year the USO puts on this I like the Black Jones. To support the troops in Europe. You know what? Like one this movie should have came out when they were crazy me. older. Hell yeah. 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 Because it's like one last run, but they're all still young. Yeah. Welcome like this should have came out like a ten so years from now. Mm -hmm. Will we be going to second base with you guys? That's a no for me. I want to see one of them be a parent. All Their the kids is doing acapella bands. or something. You guys just sing other people's songs, right? Like a cover band. They're trying to intimidate us. Yo, is that Trinidad James? A riff off. Running her hands through my fro. Bouncing on 20 balls. While they sing on the radio. So wake me up when it's all over. Some uh, uh, like to keep it oral. Yeah, yeah, is it weird that everybody is better at the one thing that we do than, than we are at that thing? Oh my god. All right, ladies, pick up your tits. We're going to show them that we are not a joke. My record label wants to sign one of the bands. My record label wants, wants to sign one of the bands. <laughs> we want you. What? We want I you. I not see this coming. The family. We support Is it Elizabeth Banks uh, directing this? We like Sisters Aubrey. Maybe. He is Aubrey, isn't it? I can't. I'm part of a group. Becca, it's a big opportunity for you. <sighs> Bye-bye, Bellas. It really does feel like a bye, John. Becca. What are you doing? Don't. <laughs> if you cry, I'm gonna cry. Don't make that face. I'm not doing it. Don't make that face. This is my regular face. Freedom! One good thing that I've got. I see why, I see why you were so upset about this. <laughs> Dog, I didn't want to watch that shit, man. Yeah. I don't feel any better after watching it again. <laughs> Fuck that franchise. Why is it still around? It's just a bunch of, you know. Get out of here. W white Jones, one token black Jones. No. One token. <laughs> no, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. You 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 do Pitch Perfect 3, brand mm. new. You mm -hmm. bring in a whole bunch of young motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. You know? And then you do that one for about one to two movies. If it does good, do it three. Mm -hmm. Put that joint on ice. And then you do Pitch Perfect seven mm -hmm. when you bring back the old ones yeah old ones versus the new ones yeah and then they like you know decide that yo we need to work together for pitch perfect like eight <laughs> so, uh, so you basically trying to fast and furious it that's what it sounds like you're trying to fast and furious i'm it. saying if the formula works use it don't give me the same old shit i don't want to see them anymore <laughs> i'm here for it i don't want to see them <laughs> anymore like they've been out of college a long ass time they have been they've been out of college for like seven years like wait, the last one they was out of college. The last one they was in, they was out of college in the last one. I don't think so. It was like their senior year or something like that. All right, fine. The one John, the one John was out of college. Yeah, yeah. All right, it was their senior year. It was their senior year, but still, like, nah, they need to let it go. I mean, it's not that bad. All right, moving on. <laughs> it's not that bad, dog. Next we got up is a uh, Maze Runner Death Cure. Yo, I'm excited for this. I'm excited like shit. For, I'm yo, excited like a motherfucker for this. First yo, of Maze all, Runner low key is my shit. Yo, first of all, my man's like he yo he got injured for this shit. Yo, dog. he took a whole ass car for yo, this shit. Dog. He took an L, dog. That he was took a, a L. Do you remember L. when we reported that? That was like what two years ago, right? That was 2016. I mean, my fault. Yeah, it was 2016. Yeah, 2000, yeah last year. Yeah. I'm, I'm about to say, we ain't been doing this for two years. Yeah, I'm about to say, damn, I'm, spe I'm speeding up too fast. <laughs> It'd be two years kind of soon. Yeah, in March. Yeah. Yeah, we should have a major event in March. Dang, right. that should be when we do our thing. Dog. Yeah, That's dog. perfect timing. That is perfect timing. Ooh. Put it on and make a note of it. Okay, let's watch Maze, Maze Runner, Runner Death, Death Cure. Cure. Uh, is this like one of those one of two type things or... Who put us here? Yo, the Maze Runner no, was no, the no, shit. No, no. Yeah. So one and two. Yo, the second one was popping. So mm -hmm. They introduced those so skitters or whatever. Yo, that shit was crazy. Look, look at the little finger, dog. Three years. 
years we spent behind walls trying to break out, and now we want to break back in. I get shotgun. You know what's crazy? I'm going to watch the first two before I go see this joint. I can try. When the hell does it stop? It stops when we find a cure. There is no cure! Yo, that chick, she, that chick, yo, she, yo, I was so mad. Thomas, you can save your friends, or you can save us all. You're not sold. I'm sold. Yo, I've been waiting for this shit a I'm long time. I'm so I'm, I'm not asshole, but I'm sold. I'm so, yeah. I've been waiting for this joint a long I'm so, time, dog. Yo, Maze Runner was popping. It dog. was the shit. And then, and, then, and then the second joint drop with them with them little the little zombie Jones running for him. Yeah, them and niggas show them niggas be sprinting. <laughs> that shit had yo. They I hope they wear Nikes. Them niggas be sprinting. They be sprinting with they yo. They be running with all chests. You know it's that <laughs> yeah. deep run when you run with all chests. <laughs> Your chest be puffed out Yo, like a running, running fast as shit, dog. Take a deep ass breath. <laughs> Wait, you running? <laughs> Vince, Vince, <laughs> like oh, Ricky. <laughs> dog running all chest, Yo, all momentum, hard forward, dog. as shit, dog. I, I ain't oh never run with all chest, dog. I don't even know what that's like. Yo, I have. I you have. ran with all chest. Yes. Who dog. was you running from? Because you don't run toward nothing like that. What was you running from? No, I was running towards something, dog. What was you running? Toward? Dog trying to block that shot, dog. <laughs> Playing basketball on chess. <laughs> trying to go one court for another. <laughs> Bro, I was trying to pin the shit out of that ball, dog. Did you get it? I didn't even get it, dog. Damn, was you close? He still made the layup. Was you close? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Tap the backboard for nothing. <laughs> ah! Yo, speaking of, we got that video. <laughs> Get that video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a young old Nick, man. All right. So um, I think we should go with the Inhumans next. I think we should do Annihilation last. Okay. Yeah. All right. So next we got <laughs> this mother, this shit, dog. <laughs> this is the last, the final Inhumans trailer before the movie actually comes out on I just, ABC. I just don't give a fuck about this joint, <laughs> dog. This joint look trash, bro. We made the Oh, Yo, shout man. out to my man Ramsey too. Though I think he's a good ass actor. Ramsey, yeah, Ramsey Bolton. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that motherfucker. I'm about to say he put that joint on mute. I know I got this. Mm-hmm. Let me cook. Fuck y'all. Ooh, that dog looks fake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, he don't, he don't got the thing. It's just like, it's just like hair. Steam members, the royal family. This is like a sci-fi show. It does. There was no need for this to be shot in IMAX. Sacred touchstone of our civilization. You may step out and fully reveal yourselves. That's cool. We are inhumans. We are defined by change. The days of black. He sounds like a bitch. They're coming to an end. We're here under the order of King Maximus. What has the king ordered you to do? Capture or kill. Your choice. I love choices. Oh. Should never have given me a choice. Oh, damn. Honor me as your new king. Oh, the hair looks better. Okay. You must escape now. Black Bolt, something's happening. We have to get to Earth. Stop it! Oh, shit. Oh. We will not let anything stop us. This, I feel like this is the whole movie. Keep us from being free. What the? Things are changing, and they're not going back. You're not from here, are you? (laughs) 
That made me I'm feel. I'm going to watch it. I said that made me feel a little bit better. I'm going to watch it. Would I pay money in a theater to watch it? Absolutely no. not. Nah. It's but not, nah. As a TV show, that shit looks kind of popping. I feel better, especially with the um the Asian dude. Like you should never gave me a choice. Yeah, and Medusa's hair looked a million times better. I don't know what money they put into it, but it looked a lot better. <laughs> It looked it, it looked good. Like that fight scene looked looked pretty good. Damn, she, they shaved their head, dog. That is pretty fucked up. Out here looking <laughs> like Sinead O'Connor. <laughs> <laughs> she's like uh, she's like the Joel from Alien. <laughs> <laughs> she got the haircut that when chicks try to look like Amber Rose got get like that shit was close. She got the Natalie Portman Viva Vendetta haircut. <laughs> 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 that shit was patchy as a motherfucker, dog. Shit she was sick, dog. That shit wasn't even all the way around. Yeah, they actually filmed them cutting her hair off. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. She really did it, like, like for real, for real. <laughs> Would you? No. Yeah, maybe that could be a show. But, I'll talk offline. Okay, right. so next we got Gotti. Look like it's John Travolta. <laughs> John Travolta. Hey, look at me, I'm John Travolta. He <laughs> got John Travolta. Face off. Let me tell you something. New Beach. York is the greatest city in the world. <laughs> My city. I was a kid in these streets, and I made it to the top. I made my bones doing a piece of work for Don Carlo Gambino. Like what? That, I became a made man. Dad, I'm thinking maybe take a year off. <laughs> you want to hang out with me? Oh. Do you know what you're doing to this family? I will build something that nobody can destroy. So. Paul Castellano was a fish God in the desert. Damn. I never respected Paul. You killed the boss of us. You will bring down hellfire. There is no choice. Oh. 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 You'll need the support of all five boroughs. Queens, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Staten Island, the Bronx. Our job now is to maintain leadership. I nominate John Gotti. To the new boss! Oh. Let everybody know. Now everybody comes to me. I'm so proud of you. You should be running your own crew now. Mr. Gotti, are you the head of the Gambino crime family? The head of my family. Mrs. Gotti, do you know what your husband does for a living? He provides. John's getting too much press. That can't go unchecked. Oh. It was meant for you. We've never they been this kid? kind of scrutiny before. What were you saying on the tapes? I said a lot of things that could get a lot of people in trouble. Dad, you say a word, I'll go over a cliff for you. You swore to me that you would not bring him into that world. This life of ours damn. is a wonderful life. If you can oh, get damn, away, he got caught up. Johnson yeah. has been an informant for the FBI. It's a damn lie! Order! Damn. Oh, oh shit. You can't fight no more. This is the whole fucking movie. Never back off, ever. I guess because it felt like, yo, whatever, you can read about this shit. Yeah, it makes it happen. We walk together. Is this a show or is this a movie? This is the life. Oh, shit. Oh, no, it's a movie. Damn. Damn, you see that old ass John Gotti? That nigga looked like a nutsack, dog. (laughs) That nigga looked like a, that nigga looked like some food that you give your niece and she spit it back in your hand. (sighs) Are you here for it? For the Gotti I'm joint. here for that shit. Yo, that joint look popping, that right? That shit look fire. <laughs> <laughs> that shit look fire, dog. Yo, shout out to my man John Travolta, dog. Look at me. Who me the face of John Travolta. Face off. She's going to take his face off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So coming up next, we have uh, Annihilation. Uh, it is from the same writer and director of Ex Machina. Did you see that shit? I didn't see X Mechanica. Oh, I said it all wrong. Mechanica. Okay. I thought, yo. For well, the, X Machina, I think it's a game. For the, yo, for the longest, I was calling it X Machina. I can see that too, because that looks more like it. What is it again? X Mechanica. X Mechanic. That makes no sense. There's no C at the end. It's supposed Mechanica? to be. Mechanica? 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 Uh, whatever. All right, from that dude, we have Annihilation starring. Natalie Portman. Can I just say, like, low key, I kind of cape for Natalie Portman. Mm, like, I, I like their on um, Black Swan. Like, if she was to throw me the yam, I would be like, okay, it's Natalie Portman. I like their on Black Swan. It's like Natalie Portman. Like, this shit's like seasoned and shit, you know? Yeah. No? I'm not. I mean, if she give me Black Swan, Natalie Portman, probably. 
She could give you in any Natalie Portman you want. Nope. Just just Black Swan. Man. You, think, you can get Black Swan. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, you gotta get Black Swan. <laughs> All right, here we go. Annihilation. Okay, we might be in space. Damn, she's serving up no makeup. She out here with the raw face. What the fuck is that? That shit looked like when the weed hit too hard. <laughs> <laughs> that shit like adult. That shit like an adult swim commercial. They're just gonna walk through it. That's cool. Can you describe its form? No. Damn, she got fucked up. Was it carbon based? She definitely, she's the only survivor. Ooh. It reacted to me. You really have no idea what it was. Did your husband contact you at any point while he was away? Damn, no. what the fuck? It was his decision to go in. Is that my man, uh... Why did my husband volunteer mind? for a suicide mission? That wasn't John. Did you say John Leguizamo? Poe Dameron. Yes, tell me where he was, what he was doing. Oh, damn. Nah, that's homeboy um, Poe Dandarin. That's, um... Fucking American... Um, what's her name? No, Thirty, inside. The Virgin Show chick? Jane the Virgin? Oh, okay. I could see him. Dude, that shit looks serious. I Duh. think that shit's gonna be a hit. I think it's going to be like I don't know how much money it costs. Hopefully, it didn't cost more than twenty mil. If it costs, if it costs less than twenty million, I think it costs uh, more than twenty mil. You think it costs more than twenty mil? Mm-hmm. Let's look at the budget. Um, <laughs> Bright, <clears throat> it's a magic wand. <laughs> Some niggas was hype about that shit. That remember, is so weird. Dog. Remember, you was like, "Yo, that that that's what like, that's what not like that that's just what turned me off." Was like, why does it have to be a magic wand, man? Like. <laughs> A fucking magic wand. Are you he, he, yo, he whispered that Joel too. It's a magic wand. <laughs> oh, they don't got the budget here. Probably when the movie dropped. I don't think it has a big budget. I just don't believe it. I believe I believe the budget is probably around twenty million. I would say no more than thirty. No more than thirty million. I say it's fifty and more. <laughs> I don't know if he's watching the same trailer I was watching. <laughs> I'm telling you. You say it's no more than no more than 30. And that, I don't even think it's 30. Let me see if I can find it on IMDb. Annihilation. Sometimes they'd be having like... I remember at one point I was obsessed with knowing the budget. The biologist. The psychologist. And production titles. No, I don't want to see that. Production... Oh, this is Surveyor. Production information. What the fuck? Oh, man. You got to be a member now? Damn. Damn. Played me. Can I see it from here? Nope. Can't see shit. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So we don't know. Okay. I, we'll, we'll just put a pin in it, and one day we'll come back and we'll find out and we'll see. I'm pretty sure. I'm putting it down right now that I feel like 27, and I say 45. 45. Yeah. All right. 27. Round me up to 30. 45. Round me up to 50. God damn, five? You jumping on five? Hell yeah, dog. Round up, dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that is it for us this week, this episode of the Mark and Dark Show. Um, if you like what you heard, please, please, please go to iTunes. Uh, put it in the search bar, the Mark and Dark Show, and give us five stars and a positive comment. Five it helps stars. out so much. You don't even understand. And while you're there, type in Spaces Productions. And all of the shows in our Spaces Production Network, give them a five stars and a positive comment. They work hard. They do. You know, really, they work really hard. hard. We yep. got Lulu and Pop. We got both sides. We got uh, three femmies. Yeah, three black three, femmes. Three black femmes. And we got um, Broke But Cultured. And soon, we already got one episode in the bag, the Pilot Boys. Pilot Boys, yes. Yo, if you enjoyed It's a Goddamn Podcast, I think you're going to definitely enjoy this because it's going to be coming at you continuously. <sighs> First season, dog. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and roll It's a Goddamn Podcast into that same feed for you all so y'all can start off with more episodes in a little bit. All right. So, 
All right. And I guess that's it for us today. Huh? Yes, sir. All right, man. I'm out. Peace.